Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Jonathan Grummer. Um, I'm, I'm here in, in my apartment, and I just uh, was able to get this webcam, and I'm, I'm excited about it and just wanted to give you my testimony so I can uh, post it on MySpace and YouTube and other things, and that's about it. Uh, again, my name's uh, Jonathan Grummer, and uh, let's pray. Lord, I, I just thank you for this opportunity to be able to um, put something on on the web that's going to give you glory, Father God. And I just pray that whatever I say, whatever I do, uh, would benefit the listener, and that God, that that you would get all the glory in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, um, where do I start? <sighs> Several years ago, um, uh, I wanted a hobby uh, to to be able to, I don't know. <laughs> um Several years ago, I asked God uh, to give me a hobby that's affordable. And immediately when I uh, asked God for this, I had the desire to go catch fish. So I, I went out and I uh, bought all the equipment, went to, uh, you know, the Walmart and uh, bought a fishing pole, fishing license and all that. And I started going out to, to try to catch fish. Well, for about a year, I didn't catch any fish. And I, I started going to this place at Lake Louisville where you pay to go in. You can, I think it was like $6 at the time. It's at the Louisville Fishing Barge. And you could go there and you could catch fish for like, uh, 12 hours a day for six bucks and I started catching fish there well you know I I, I went on and I I, I was getting kind of upset that uh, I was only catching fish at places where you would have to pay to go catch fish and I didn't really like that and I I started getting angry with God because I was like you know God here I prayed uh, to have a a, a, a hobby uh, that's affordable and I had been paying money to catch fish and I was like Lord I, I shouldn't have to pay to catch fish I should be able to just go to a lake and just start casting out there and start catching fish well after about a year uh, God started leading me to verses in the Bible that pertain to catching fish and one of them uh, was in uh, Genesis 9 verses 1 through 3 which basically says and this is interesting because in, in verse 1 it says and God blessed Noah and his sons and I know this will probably upset some women here <laughs> but I, I noticed it said uh, and God blessed Noah and his sons and I was like God why why doesn't it say you bless the women well I I mentioned this to some women at my church and they said well it's because they were already blessed and I was like yeah that's that's true so I just agree with that and um, so I started getting these verses and again I'll get back to it Genesis 9 verses 1 through 3 well, I think in verse 3 it says and I I have given you dominion over the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and every creeping thing and then it says into your hands are they delivered all fish all everything and I read that and I was like you know God that verse says that all fish excuse me uh, all fish are delivered into my hands well Basically, that speaks to me, the, the world record fish. You know, I should go out in the ocean and catch the world's largest whatever. 
God's creatures, you know, what what God created. And that that includes the the world record largemouth bass and other stuff like that. And I think that's interesting. Well, uh other verses that pertain to that are um Psalm 29. I really like that cuz it talks about uh the voice of the Lord is upon the waters, the God of glory thunders, you know. And then it also says the Lord is upon the waters. And uh, Genesis 1 verse 2 says, And the Spirit moved upon the face of the waters. Well, to go on, um, I started standing on these verses and I started catching fish. And I, I think that's pretty cool. And um, so on and so forth. And I started catching fish. Well... Another year went by, and uh, I was praying uh, in my first apartment, and I, uh, I was praying for somebody, and it was like God just interrupted my prayer, and I said, I was like, God, I'm praying for somebody. Let me let me pray for him. He was like, no, I want to show you this. <laughs> and he took me totally off of praying and said, here, why don't you turn your hobby into a ministry uh, to you go out and you catch fish and you and you minister to people using the art of fishing or the sport of fishing i shouldn't say well same thing art sport sport art i don't know <laughs> and uh so i i wrote the vision down and i, I i'm still standing on that i uh, i believe god's going to bring me a boat and and do stuff well that brings me to this i uh, at that point, um, I don't know how long it was after that, but uh, I was watching uh, Christian television. And there's a uh, Christian television network here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And they do tapings there. And one, one day I was watching that uh, television station. And uh, they were going to uh, do a taping of a program in the evening and if you notice I'm looking off to the left here I, I it, it kind of freaks me out that I'm looking at myself on my computer I just I don't like looking at myself but otherwise anyways <laughs> to get back to the point uh, uh, I went I went to this programming in the evening and I went down front to go sit down front and uh, I'm standing down there, and I hear the Holy Ghost speak to me, and he says, I'm going to put you on television. And immediately when I heard that, I was like, well, one of the cameramen is going to uh, zoom in on me and see me jumping up and that. And that's where Jumping John comes in, because I, I, I like to worship God jumping up and down. And that's another testimony that I'll share sometime later on. I can't get into that right now. I'm only, I'm already at eight minutes on this, but um, I heard the Holy Ghost speak to me and tell me He's going to put me on television. Well, I, immediately I started thinking, well, you know, He's giving me this vision. Well, I, I, I was thinking that He was going to zoom in on me. Sorry, <laughs> and I, I, I started thinking that, and it was like, no, it's going to be more than that. And I started thinking about the fishing ministry and um, I was like oh yeah that this television network's gonna interview me and I'm gonna be on television and they're gonna be interviewing me about this ministry and I was like oh and I thought it was, that's a little bit bigger than I thought and um, you know I, I was like cool and I, I know it's bigger than I think because, you know, in Ephesians 3.20, I think it says, Who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the, the power that works in us, which is the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I, I went on, and at this time in my life, um, I was working at a delivery service company. I don't want to say what delivery service company, but... Um, it, it became it, it was increasingly becoming a harassing environment where 
uh, my full-time supervisor would uh, yell and cuss at me and uh, I took steps into trying to correct this issue and they didn't like it that I would call different numbers and uh, they continued to harass me and, and they they were real sneaky about it and they never really changed and it just continued they continued to harass me and harass me e almost every day and it was making me depressed well at that point in my life my parents were like you need to go back to school and we'll pay for it and I was like no because I uh, in the past, I would go to school, and I just went there, and I'll be honest, to, to meet girls and, and not go to school. I just wanted to meet girls and go date and, you know, mess, you know, not mess around, but um, uh, to socialize and get to know people. And I didn't really uh, get down and study hard. I failed some classes and stuff and so uh, I dropped out of, out of college and here's my parents they're pressuring me to uh, go back to school and I was like no well uh, some more time goes by and uh, one day I'm I'm driving home and Spirit of God speaks to me again out of nowhere. I wasn't worshiping. I wasn't praying. And in my head, I heard these two words. And the words were well-pleasing. And I was like, well, that's God. That's not me. That's God speaking to me. though. So I, I need to just uh, go look that up. <laughs> so I get home, and I go look it up. And it's in Colossians 3, verse 20, which says... Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Well, when I read that, I knew at exactly that God wanted me to go back to school. And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I resisted that for like a couple of weeks. And I was like, forget it. I'm not, go I'm not telling my parents I heard this. I'm, I'm going to resist the, the God on this. No, I am not going back to school. Well, a couple of weeks went by, and God was like, you need to go look at TCC and look at their programs, what they have. So I start looking at their degree plans on their uh, homepage, and one of the programs is radio and television broadcasting. Well, when I saw that, I realized the whole, the whole picture was that uh, God wanted to uh, get me in school, get me a degree, and have a Christian fishing program on television uh, to disciple and to uh, save souls those two things and uh, praise God I'm, I'm, I'm working that out I still uh, am believing God for a boat and <laughs> right now to be honest I'm, I'm actually uh, job searching because my current job is part time and so that's it that's that's my testimony of what what the Lord wants to do in my life and I hope that uh, you get a blessing out of this and uh, if if God is tugging at your heart to 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 give give yourself to him I, I urge you to present yourself to him and give yourself to him so that his purpose will be fulfilled in your life. Whether you want it to or not, he's going to perform his will in your life. And that's all glory to God because he is sovereign. He can do anything, anytime, anywhere. And I've seen this. And praise God. And that's it. So God bless you. And I hope you have a good day and that the Holy Ghost go with you. Lord, I just pray right now that anybody that watches this video on MySpace or YouTube or whatever, that, that you bless them, that your hand is on them, that, God, that you, you, you instruct them in the night seasons, Father God, and that, Lord God, that you would increase them more and more in things pertaining to life and godliness. 
and that Christ would dwell in their hearts by faith. In Jesus' name. Well, God bless y'all, and have a good day. Bye.